What's up, guys? Welcome back to World of Two Comic Club. Holy crap, am I excited. Um, shout out to my friend who texted me about the trade war meeting because I honestly was just about to go do some editing. I wasn't really paying attention to the news. I briefly talked about it with another friend of mine earlier today um, before it happened, and then I kind of just forgot with all the other stuff going on. But, oh, you, you read the title of this video, so you probably know that good news happened with that meeting. Oh my gosh, I'm going to read just a couple stuff from articles and I will link to them in the description but I am so excited right now holy crap guys we have Trump and cheese hint at good outcome to end the US China trade war ahead of the G20 dinner um, that was really probably an optimistic title but we don't know if it's gonna end yet um, but some of the details of this meeting let me just kind of read off some bullet points here um, so one thing they agreed to do is not impose new tariffs after January 1st um, they're not ending the war completely. They are just, they're doing that to kind of postpone things so they can still talk and work things out. So it's not over yet, but definitely huge step in the right direction. And um, I just have an observation about that. This is the first time they've had their meeting since the trade war began, uh, one of these articles said. But I'm wondering if the dinner kind of helped to set a more better mood, like, Maybe that kind of helped. I don't know. Sometimes there's little subtle things that happen. Um, ever since I read that book, Freakonomics, um, you guys should definitely read that book if you haven't. Sometimes there's really weird things that affect outcomes that you would never would have expected. I think having a dinner to negotiate kind of creates a more more atmosphere of like a more lighter atmosphere. And I think that kind of actually helped in this case, other than the fact that everyone's losing billions of dollars in the stock market. But I'm just saying. I think the din I think they should all from now on. I think dinner should be should be the center of the meeting. It should just be with a dinner with good tasting food. I think that'll help people be in a better mood to make better deals. Um, so if anyone important in government is hearing this, do that please. Okay. Anyways, but no one's hearing that. Anyway, so let's just keep going. So yeah. Um, now Chi said that he was very happy to meet with the president and also Trump has said on you know on radio or in interviews before that he he wants to get a deal done but one of the things that worried me was that he also said he was happy with the current situation because a lot of money is coming into the US but he did say you know he would be open to make a deal it looked like they had a good talk and um yeah so let's see if i can find some more things that uh, i want to i want to talk about oh so one of the big questions was are they going to take back some of the some of the tariffs that they already did and let me see if I can find the quote. So, okay, so I found it. The quote says, The two leaders agreed to put on hold the threatened tariff increases and undo existing tariffs as of January 1st. So that was probably the main piece of news here. Um, it says, Marking a significant de-escalation in trade tensions between the world's two biggest economies. And so, yeah. So details of the trade truce agreement, uh, including to what concessions the China made, were not immediately available. So obviously, I think they're still going to be talking about the you know intellectual property thing, like that whole thing, which was like at the crux of this issue. I think Trump and them are still have some talking to do to work that out. But the fact that they were not going to do any more tariffs after January first and pop and take back some that is, I mean, in the grand scheme of things of what's been happening, that's amazing news. I just hope the Fed doesn't try to ruin everything by raising interest rates next like next time. That would be really crappy of them, but. Yeah, um, I did hear on the radio yesterday um, a sound clip from someone that said, I think someone who was going to the meeting, uh, he said that he was going to be really surprised if nothing good came out of this meeting. He'd be really surprised if it did not go well. So that made me feel a little bit better. I just wish I had heard that during a trading session where I could have bought some more calls, but I didn't. Um, unfortunately, I did buy more puts like last week or two weeks ago, and I'm losing quite a bit of money on that. But um I, I do have a little bit of, I, mean, I still have calls left, so hopefully I'll make back some of the losses that I've been getting, kind of been getting hit pretty bad the last month. Um, but anyways, that pretty much is it. I'll link to the uh, inscription for these articles if you want to read more about it, but that's basically the gist of it if you don't want to read anything. Um, that pretty much sums up what happened. So I want you guys to comment below what you guys think are going to happen. I want to know if you guys did any trades on Friday in anticipation of this meeting, um, because some of you probably were geniuses and bought a lot of calls. Some of you, like me, were probably just, you know, not paying much attention and didn't get a chance to buy as much as you wanted. But I, I want to know your thoughts and your views, your opinions on, on this. I just want to talk to you guys. So please comment in the comment section below. 
um, about this this trade war meeting and what you think about it. So thanks again so much for watching. Hope you're having a great weekend, and we'll see you in the next one. Hey guys, thanks again for checking out this video. If you want another way to support the channel, please check out that Patreon link up there at the top. You get access to my private Discord server where we chat about different companies we're looking at investing in. I also post my current trades in real time as well as news headlines with little mini summaries. And you can also get discounts on any merchandise that we sell, like a shirt like this, for example. And if you want to just subscribe to the channel, I would appreciate that as well. You can just click that black logo there at the bottom. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.